Tonight, many in the Jessup community are calling for answers in the death of an eight year old boy. Noah Bush was reported missing Wednesday night and deputies uh, found him dead in a pit near his home on Mill Creek Road Thursday morning. And tonight, our Lindsay Stanger went out to the protest in Jessup where hundreds of people came out questioning the sheriff's office initial released information that they did not suspect any foul play in Noah's death. Lindsay, the case has been has captured the hearts of so many throughout our community. What was it like out there tonight? Don, the turnout was huge. When officials found Noah's body underwater in that pit, their initial investigation suspected that he had drowned. But since then, family and community members have come forward insisting that there's more to the story. We want answers. We want to know what happened. Hundreds of people lining the center of town in protest of what they are calling a botched investigation. Was there caution tape around the um, the crime scene? Was this even investigated? Photos, posters, signs, and chants all demanding the Wayne County Sheriff find answers. The protesters are not taking the county's no foul play ruling as an answer. The sheriff's department originally said that they had no reason to believe that foul play was involved and that Bush appeared to have drowned, a narrative that Noah's 18-year-old sister Aliza says is impossible. Because now y'all are denying that, that something happened. Y'all are saying he, he jumped in when I know my baby was scared of water. The Wayne County Sheriff announced today that the GBI has been called in to assist the investigation, something McClinton says her family has been asking for for days. It's just like they're interviewing people and then that's it. And they're not telling us anything at all. WTOSP spoke to Wayne County Sheriff Robert Mosley, who says the county is doing all that it can, but cases don't always get solved overnight. I just want everybody to have faith. We're investigating this to the end until all the questions are answered will be investigated. The sheriff says that the GBI has completed a majority of the interviews expected and the department is getting close to getting an answer. Well, let's take a look now at the timeline on the search. Noah was reported missing just after nine o'clock Wednesday night. In the next few hours, Wayne County deputies, Georgia State Patrol and Glenn County canines searched the area and alerted neighboring counties. Just after midnight, two 911 calls came in, one claiming they saw someone walking in the area that could have been Noah, and the other saying they heard a child calling mama. Neither tip panned out. About 30 minutes later, a canine found children's shoes near a body of water with bare footprints nearby. Now the Bush family confirmed that those were Noah's shoes. A Georgia State Trooper then found the gate at the end of Mill Creek Lane open. A helicopter and dive teams joined in the search near that area. Noah's body was found around 8 a.m. in the water. WTOC has been following the story from the very beginning. You can find past interviews with Noah's family and a statement from his school on our website, WTOC.com. Just look for this story on the homepage.